Hello folks, welcome back to the studio. Now let's assume that you would find some luggage options useful for your motorcycle since you clicked on this video. And you're looking for something similar to what I would be looking for, which is simple, versatile, reliable, and fully waterproof motorcycle luggage. Well, this is definitely worth your attention then. This is the Krieger Roll Pack. It is available in either 20 liters or 40 liters. You can get it in either black, which probably would be the most popular, or a colorway they're calling Coyote, or a multicam option. The 20 liter version is 130 pounds, and the 40 liter version is 160 pounds. As I mentioned, it is incredibly tough and hard wearing. It is reliable, it has the Krieger name attached to it. That means it also has a 10 year guarantee it uses a 500 denier Cordura light outer construction, which has some vents in the bottom there for breathability. And then you have a fully waterproof liner with taped seams. That liner is also removable if you need to take it out for any reason. And it is white in color, which means it's a lot easier to see your things in there. Whilst I'm talking about it, I probably should actually show it off. So it is a roll top bag. Uh, it actually has rolls on both sides, so you have options as to which side you might want to load it from. Say you've put something down this end and you just want to get access to that, you can obviously roll either end open, which is quite handy actually. It's, uh, it is versatile, it's not something I've seen before. So the liner you can see from the inside there, as I mentioned, it is a white liner, which makes it easier to spot things, and it is Velcro secured. And if I go for this side, actually, you can see the taped seams as well for this reliable waterproofing. What's great about this sort of design is that one, obviously, that helps with waterproofing. You just roll it over like so. But two, it means that you can expand it a lot easier. Or if you're taking less stuff with you, you can compress it nice and compact, which stops your stuff just sort of shaking around inside there. You can make it nice and secure. So you have these straps on the side there. You just tug that in and obviously you can uh, tighten this and make it a bit neater. Now, I think for me, I would probably side with the 20 liter option. This is the 20 liter option. And you can see that it's actually still a decent kind of size, especially if you do really pack this down. I think I've got a pair of jeans in there. I've got two jumpers. I've got a t-shirt, a set of gloves. You could pack a decent amount of stuff in that one. And you can also, Go for multiple bags if you want to, and obviously just couple them together. They have different mounting points on them. You can secure other things to them. This adds to the versatility of these. As you can see, you've got loops there. So I've got rock straps. I could easily just bring some extra straps with me, and attach other things to it if I needed to. The other thing worth bearing in mind is that it's really easy to pack down and put in your backpack if you're off the bike and you're carrying it around, or if you're going out and you know you need to bring more stuff back with you. Obviously, you can just roll this up when it's not needed, stick it in your backpack, and then unfurl it whenever you require. Now, when it comes to actually attaching it to your bike, you have quite a few different options. Because it is so simple, and because it is just a couple of straps on the top here, uh, basically, if you've got a bike that it doesn't fit, I would be surprised, because they do extra kits as well. So you have the loops that the bag actually comes with. Now, if you've got a luggage rail, all you'll need to do is basically pull this out there, choose the right length for yourself, loop it around some area of your frame or your luggage rack, and then just hook it back to itself, basically, and secure it in place like so. And it's got these big metal hooks on it, really tough, good for load bearing. Obviously, they'll do a great job of securing this down, and they're very easy to use. The grip is really easy to use, and it's something you will interact with a lot when you are securing it down, and you basically just lift it up like so. It has little teeth in there that grip the strap, and you can just pull it as you might need to to find the required length. And like I say, just hook this loop back to itself, or you can use the supplied straps which you secure to your subframe. And again, you can chop this down if you find you've got a little extra length on there, or you can just find somewhere to neatly tuck it under your seat. And it would be likely under your seat. Now you've got four of these, so you basically can fasten it to your frame. I'll just give you an example with this one, actually. It's probably the best way to do it. So basically just loop that through, pull it tight, and that remains 
on your bike. And the reason I love that is that you can take this off and then just really, really quickly loop this back in when you want to attach it to your bike again, because you probably don't want to leave whatever valuables you have in the bag on your bike when you're not actually with it. But there are loads of different ways and actually quite a lot of literature from them on how to actually adapt this to your specific bike if you need. Like I said, then this is incredibly versatile, simple, durable and reliable. If you do want to check them out for yourself, you can find links in the description. Let us know what you think of this or if you've got any specific questions, drop them in the comment section and I'll see you soon.